got my camera back. Hey, I got my camera back. Hey, girl, I look like a proactive commercial. Yes. Y'all, I hope the settings are, I hope they didn't mess up my settings. This is the third time me having to reset these settings that they did, girl, but they better not have. I don't think they did. So yes, got my camera back so I can go ahead and do that braid and curl for you. Help us look. What was that noise? I was feeling a certain type of way because I'm like, I did a poll to ask y'all what hairstyle y'all wanted next, next and low key. If this camera was scheduled to get here later on tonight, yes, I could do it with my old camera, but this camera, you can see everything. Is The lighting's are perfect, you can see everything. With that camera, the, the lighting's, it could be perfect and you really still can't see everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the braiding curl for y'all later on today. Um, it is two weeks before Christmas. Girl, we got a lot to do. We gotta order these presents. We gotta wrap these presents up. Look, I can't wrap presents. I am a crafty heifer, yes, but I will wrap your presents like you order two pounds of catfish at the market. Like, I can't wrap presents for anything. Hmm. Yeah, so I went ahead. We only got our budget. My budget really was $180 for JB's Christmas presents. I got under. I'm at $150. Um, through Amazon girl. I'm not going anywhere only through Amazon. I may get him. I may get him this um, Lego I don't know y'all I may get him this Lego um, table from What do you call it from or a craft table at least or even maybe a chalkboard From Wayfair. I may get him a chalkboard from Wayfair so that he could practice writing or maybe like an easel board You know something like that but besides that, child, that is it. Um, he's getting like half a dozen or so toys. And then my baby's birthday is in, we get some natural light, girl. Especially since I got the camera. Hold on, child. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> His birthday is January 13th. And so my husband was like, so what do y'all want to do? I said, well, he already, JB already planned his birthday, child. He said he wants the kids to go to Chuck E. Cheese's and then they're going to go to Raising Cane and then we're going to stay in the hotel at the Comfort Inn's and my husband's like, mm, I'm not staying at the Comfort Inn. Bougie. Just bougie. So, he was like, let's just go ahead and go to Sedona. I'm like, if you paying, I'm playing. <laughs> if you working, I'm twerking. Whatever. It's <laughs> so corny. So, we decided to go to Sedona for JB's birthday. He went ahead and... um book the hotel we're gonna stay at the hilton because he he's like a, a member or whatever you can anybody can can become a member he ain't special child so we're gonna be at the hilton for two days y'all can come with us we're gonna do um i love sedona first of all sedona is only an hour and a half away from us because like i said we're in north 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 phoenix so we're gonna do sedona for the weekend and um we're gonna leave that saturday come back monday and we're gonna do jeeping off-road jeeping that is so fun. The first time I did it, I didn't realize how rough and bumpy it is, but it is. And right now, it's winter up in Sedona. So we will probably see some snow, you know, on the mountaintop. So yeah, it'll be a nice vacation. This will be JB's third time going to Sedona. We travel with our child, y'all. I don't think, besides myself, we've never gone without JB somewhere. And we probably won't because it's just we're a small family. There's no reason to drop him off at grandma's and go somewhere on a vacation. We are a small family. He can come with us wherever. And it's, it's a good experience for them to, you know. Now, and this is another thing that people don't realize. You can travel with your kids and still be have a romantic time, you know, if you want wanted to do that. You could do couples massages and have... If your um, hotel offers childcare. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, we had miscommunication about what was happening in the gym, so we had to kick back it all out. But they set up all the chairs for you, so that's okay. Uh, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. Oh, they're all so cute. Oh, look at them. <laughs>
Hey y'all, can y'all see me? How about now? Y'all can see me now. It's late, Bob about to make me some tacos. Shout out to Mimi's Cookie. Shout out to Mimi's Cooking Hour, sis. <laughs> By the way, her channel has been taken down. Yes, no more coins for you, Mimi. She'll probably, whoever it is, will probably make another channel. But you best believe any cooking stuff of mine, I will have my logo straight across. Anyway, y'all, let me make me some tacos. I'll talk to y'all while I'm cooking. Why when I stop by, what is all that noise? Let me just go ahead and get it out. Since she wants to be loud, I'll just do that, y'all. I have some leftover chicken breasts from um, a rotisserie chicken. I, I know one thing, Canada better not have messed up my my camera so yeah i'm gonna put some roasted corn in this i'm going to i think jamie's falling asleep hold on y'all because it's real quiet in here what time is it it's six o'clock oh no nah, he's just laying down all right yeah this is gonna be real simple it's not, this is not a cooking video i'm just telling y'all what i'm doing i have just a little bit of shredded chicken um and I'm going to do um green chilies, a little slice of jalapeno, a little bit of garlic, some roasted corn some tomatoes, a little bit of onion. Yo, we're gonna hook her up. It's gonna be done in 15 minutes. Okay, that's a lot, 30 minutes. You can't see me, but you can hear me. So while when I picked up my prescription today, the pharmacist was like, I didn't know you were a blogger. I said, I, there was like a three or four second delay for me. And I was like, how do you know about that? Cause look y'all, most, YouTubers don't go around, we don't go around telling people advertising our channels, I mean, cause this is a hobby. You know, you don't go around telling people, oh, by the way, um, I quilt on the side. You know, you don't, you just don't go around communicating that. So, I had given the other pharmacist, who's a sister from Kenya, when I was there at the pharmacy a couple of, um, it's been like almost a month ago, her hair was in a puff. And I was like, oh, I like your hair, sis, it's cute. She's, <laughs> she kind of looked frustrated. And she's like, well, my beautician is all booked up and I don't know what to do with my hair. I gotta wash my hair. I don't know what products to use. I said, girl, um, you can use products right here in, in the store. This is Albertsons. So, girl, she came around that, that corner counter so fast. I showed her what, where the VO5 was at. I showed her about the, the Garnier Futis, um, the Maui Moisture, they even have the buttercream there. I showed her the sulfate free, <laughs> look. I showed her where the sulfate free shampoo and conditioning was at. And I, I said, I took all y'all conditioner, which I did. I, I had swooped up all that conditioner. We had issues with her hair. And that's when I introduced myself to her. And this is another person, right? And I was like, well, I have a YouTube channel. I said, I don't really, you know, tell people about this, but you know, if you need help with where, you know, what type of products to, to use, just check me out. And she's like, really? I said, yeah. So, you know, every now and then when I go up there, she's like, you know, I've been watching your channel and the last time I was there, she's like, I I'm mad at you because you're making me do my hair. I said, <laughs> started laughing. So today when I went up there, the guy, He's an, old, an older Asian guy, real sweet. And he's like, I didn't know you were a blogger. And I was like, what? And then there was another guy was behind him and they heard, you know, overheard him. But anyway, long story short, he was basically like, you're a real blogger. You're like, we have like a local celebrity. I said, y'all, I'm not no celebrity. I, don't, I, have, I have like only 17,000 subscribers, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. So 17,000 is a lot of people. I just, me personally, I think a lot of subscribers to me is 50 plus. 50,000 subscribers is a lot. And then I think a successful 
YouTuber as far as numbers goes is 100,000. I'm sorry, there's, there's people out there who has, who was I watching? I watch a lot of different people, y'all. Um, Marcus Brownlee has seven mil, this brother does tech reviews, and I've been watching him since he was a kid. He has seven million subscribers. He pulls in coins. Social Blade is saying he makes almost $90,000 a month. Child, let me tell you something. So yeah, those numbers, that, that's a celebrity. So, I think JV's trying to go to bed, which, JV, you want some juice? He needs to not go to bed, y'all. Not the honey sauce to make my different sauce, y'all. Don't play. Do not play. I sure do. Hold on, baby. Let me get you some. Y'all, first of all, are you singing a Kmart song? Kmart has a song. Okay, so every fall for bed, every apartment store has a song like Toys R Us. Hey, Buster has a song. Okay, so let, let me tell this, them this, this real quick so they can see you a little bit. Let me come around here. Turn this around on you so they can understand this weirdness. So, JB is obsessed now with department stores. Well, I tell you that this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Why is it, why is it getting dark? Take that down. Because it's zooming in on your phone. That's why I did that. Don't do that, baby. So, ciao. We went to Sears a couple of weeks ago because he wanted to go to Sears because he heard Sears had filed for bankruptcy, right? Now, I think, y'all, it is out of control. It, it, this week, now we're on Circuit City. Then he tells me, he's like, Mama, most of these department stores are filing for Chapter 7. I don't, I'm not even hearing anything about Chapter... No, he said most of these department stores are filing for Chapter 11. I don't hear anything about chapter seven. They liquidate. I'm like, what? There's, I didn't even know there was a difference between chapter seven and chapter 11, JB. There's a difference? I mean, like I'm supposed to know this. Woo. It is so cold. It is so cold. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is 40 degrees. 40, 40 degrees out here in Phoenix. And, um,. I'm staying here till I can warm up a little bit. JB is a mess. He starts crying because he forgot his watch. Drop him off at school, of course. And he starts crying because he forgot his watch at home. The watch that he doesn't even look at and doesn't know, even know how to tell time. So I must have told anyone. When people notice him, he gets even more dramatic. And I ignore him. And you know, the teachers are walking, I'm like, oh, what's wrong? I'm like, he forgot his watch at home. She's like, oh, I said, no, don't, just don't, don't pay any mind. So I gave him three, three chances. I said, I'm going to walk out. If you keep crying, I'm literally, am going to leave. And that's what I did. I left, but I left and hid. I hid and literally less than a minute after I had left, he had stopped crying because he's just looking for attention, y'all. He wants me to go home and get his watch, bring it. You think I'm gonna go home in this cold and come all the way back in this cold just for you to wear a watch on your arm? That anyway, anyway, it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. It is Friday. It is cold. Don't really have much going on today. Just gotta submit my timesheet, girl, and that's about it. <clears throat> So I talked to my mama last night and she said she's going to try to see if she can come down here for the trip to Sedona, but I need to let her know, um, <laughs> we will, you know, she's like, I got to get my ticket. I got to sell these pies to get my ticket. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're going to have to sell a lot of pies because the hotel we're staying at, the rooms are $2.50 a pop a night. Yeah, my husband, the, the total was like a little over $500. So I'm like, um... I mean, is that something I need? I need to go ahead and send her a message. Like, is that something you really want to do? Yeah, we were, when I used to work in dietary, they would give us, you know, the farm. So you have to go, you have to go buy the recipe or whatever. Um, but I'm like, this doesn't look like, it look, like, look like my mama went way off the recipe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go by. You don't go? I don't go by the recipe. I do the way I want to do it. 
can't say otherwise. Yeah, yeah, and this is school too. It's not like this, you know, it's not like at a nursing home where they have um, dietary restrictions, you know, so. Yeah, I know. We could basically do it. Child, I'm talking to my talking to my mama and um um I just, she yeah she invited herself my mama is petty as hell she went in, she went and invited herself to our trip right and this last minute trip and when we I told y'all when we go on a trip we don't do any budget stuff so I said um the hotel we're staying at is two fifty at night. So she's like, oh, the plane tickets are already over 400. So I don't even know if I'm going to go anyway. I said, okay, just let you know. But she's so funny. I told her, I, I sent her a text message and I was like, you know, um, I'll cover everything else if you could do your your uh, hotel. And she's like, what's the name of the hotel? Then she's like, oh, y'all so sweet. Y'all going to play for my plane, plane ticket and my hotel? I said, that's helpful. So I call her up. I'm like, what is you talking about? She starts laughing. But look, she she works in um she works for Longview High School. She works in a in a kitchen, right? And shout out to East Texas. So she works in dietary. And she's been doing this most of her life because she loves to cook. And so she posted she posts pictures of the kids meals and i'm like she going way off them i can tell just by looking at the food that she's going way off the recipe i used to work one of my first jobs taking after my mom one of my first jobs is actually working in a kitchen at unt so i know that you have a recipe i never had to do it because i had certain food i had to cook but you have a recipe you have to go by and the reason why they want you to stick to their recipe is because they don't want you using more ingredients dipping into the budget so this how for my mama talking about so I, never, I don't never go by the recipe. I said, I can't tell by looking at the pictures you be posting. All right, y'all. So I am done. It's still Friday. Met with Miss Erlette to go over the footage for her um, her videos I'm doing for her. I love her. She is so inspirational and just... But girl, look, she... <laughs> she clocked me on my hair, y'all. So I love her. You know, you New Yorkers don't hold nothing back. But no, she's sweet. She was like, um, you need to get have your ends trimmed. I'm like, what? <laughs> and she nonchalantly brought it up like once or twice. And I was like, okay, you know what? Show me how much I actually need to have trimmed. So she showed me. She demonstrated, pulled my hair, pulled my hair all the way up. And it's about an inch and a half that needs to come off. So she's like, you don't have to do it. But if you, you can see through your ends and... She said, doesn't mean your hair isn't healthy, but you need a trim. But yeah, you know, I'm going to go ahead and have to have my hair trimmed. I know I am. So I told her that I will have her to trim it and stop by one day and, um, you know, have her to, you know, just cut my hair off. Hell, I'll do it myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> can I do it myself y'all I can pull it all the way up you know what that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> y'all let me go ahead and go look child I done seen it all baby I'm up here and they're doing some type of construction and when I came out I heard a guy um singing construction workers I saw uh, her a guy singing and he comes around and I'm like oh hey he's like, oh hey I'm like can I go up this way he's like oh yes I'm like they got a queen working at the construction site yes <laughs> A little cute self. They always be the cute ones on the other playing field, right? Y'all, I'm telling you, the finest to date. To date. The finest black man I have ever seen in my life was gay. I would never and would never forget him. Quentin. He used to work the front desk at a hospice. I'm not going to name the name of a hospice I used to work in. Both me and my girlfriend, Chauncey at the time, Chauncey, excuse me, we would be like, he is so fine. And I know I know that other women will always look at him like that. I'm like, he is so fine with those green, those fake ass green contacts. That was back then when people were, that wasn't that long ago, but he was still wearing colored contacts, but he was so fine. And I remember one time, new crank on my car because it's hot. I remember one time he gave me a hug, right? I was like, give me a hug, Quentin, because we were going somewhere for the break or something. I think it was for Thanksgiving break, and I gave him a hug, and he said, Vivian, if I was straight, I would, I would definitely give you the time of day. I'm like, don't you tell me that. Why would you say that? If you were straight, you would give me the time of day. Shit. <laughs> 
Hey, you guys. Oh, Lord. Look at that hair. Y'all didn't know it, it came down some. And look at my hair, guys. JV, ain't nothing going on with your hair. I'm going to need to pin this well, up Well, look at my quick. hair. It looks great. Doesn't that look great, No, they ain't going to see it. Let me get a bobby pin real quick and no, fix his hair. No, I show them. All right, you guys. So, um... Today is one of those, well this morning is one of those mornings where I'm going to do a lot of cooking in the morning for the entire day because 1 o'clock, I'm going over to Miss Arlette and she's going to figure this out. So let me show y'all what I'm cooking and JB's going to show you his hair which I don't understand. Put that syrup down child. I'm going to make some breakfast this morning which I rarely do. I rarely cook breakfast because I cook dinner and I, I don't do no hot dogs or burrito pies i cook a meat and two sides and a dessert which we're doing the, all this morning so let me show you the dessert i'm making i'm gonna have you get some stuff out the fridge in a minute okay so this is just a regular one and a half box of cake mix four eggs i think i'm gonna add an egg white to this and then i'm gonna this is uh french vanilla by the way i added a tablespoon of vanilla i'm gonna do a cream cheese buttercream icing with pecans oh yes it's gonna be good so i'm gonna be making a big pot of chicken stew and the ingredients are chicken stock half an onion three six of celery no three six of carrots two six of celery some peas and garlic potato. potatoes now this is from oh and I've, i have a package of chicken thighs i'm gonna show you guys the seasonings here but this is a uh I, re I got this idea from a young lady who did, if you do a search for chicken stew, the very first video where it's ASMR, she did something very similar. For um, seasonings and other stuff, we have flour, garlic powder, onion powder, powder, Italian seasoning, a bay leaf, and some red pepper, excuse me, black pepper. I'm not gonna add salt because the chicken, um, the chicken stock or broth or whatever, is has sodium in it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I cut up some chicken thighs and I added some Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt, onion powder, and garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to allow this to cook. Once it's done, I'm going to sprinkle in some flour. Um, so we're going to, you know, thicken this up. I'm going to add a little bit of this chicken stock. Stir, stir, stir. Add in my potatoes. Add in my, uh, the other vegetables. Sorry. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is bring this to a boil. I put two bay leaves in. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, boil, I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer, put the pot, the lid on, excuse me y'all. If I need to thicken it up, I have over here a mixture of chicken broth and some flour. I could just pour it in if it needs to come. All right, y'all, this is my butter pecan cake. Look, I'm not the greatest decorator. This is homemade icing. I put pecans in it. You have to, hey, hey, hey. This child is wasting my food. Yeah, I don't, you, if you don't want it, put it down. You're not gonna waste food, especially Texas toast. I don't like that type of Texas toast. Okay, then I'll eat it all. Thank you very much. This is gonna be bomb.com. I'm gonna ask my neighbors if they want some. Let me show you guys what the soup looks like. This is what the soup looks like. I added peas at the end. I ate it up. This child. I ended up adding um, that flour mixture and I had to add a little bit of cornstarch. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these bay leaves. I'm gonna ask my neighbors if they want some of this too. My neighbor just had knee surgery y'all so her husband's been running around so this is enough food for like six people easily. 